Com. Today we have with us a special guest, Dr. Zoltan Heinel. Dr. Heinel is per Emeritus Professor of Seismology at the University of Saskatchewan. Thanks, Dr. Heinel, for being here with us today. Good morning. Uh, I'm delighted to be uh, uh, here and talking to you. Dr. Heinel, we know that you've been, uh, your, your expertise is in the use of seismology, and um, you have been in the Athabasca Basin since the early 1990s. Can you tell us about some of your experience and what you have learned in using seismology for uranium exploration? Well, seismology, uh, or seismic uh, uh, reflection, or seismic refraction, are uh, 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 one or, or uh, uh, a method of uh, 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 geophysical techniques uh, looking for uh, 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 mineralization. And uh, a seismic method has the advantage over any of the other methods that it can resolve, it can recognize uh, uh, more details and uh, at greater depths uh, uh, than any of the uh, other techniques. So in a sense, if you are uh, interested to look uh, looking for a, a mineralization, then uh, you have to uh, 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 look at the technique and the set of techniques uh, uh, in a sense of, of uh, which suits you best at the time of your uh, 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 progress in exploration. So seismic is a technique which is uh, uh, very good at uh, uh, defining uh, uh, anomalous uh, zones, mainly structures, faults, uh, uh, shear zones, so disturbances in the subsurface geology. And, and uh, indirectly, uh, all of the ore bodies discovered uh, uh, in the Athabasca Basin are associated with this uh, uh, type of uh, anomalies in the uh, 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 earth, that is, structures and shear zones. So the, the success of, uh, of uh, seismic uh, reflection studies uh, uh, come the, uh, from the, its, its effectiveness of mapping uh, big structures like the P2 structures at Makartu River, or uh, uh, similar structures uh, at Shea Creek, or some of the other areas, uh, 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 Moor Lake uh, 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 and Russell Lake uh, uh, in the eastern side of the basin. Dr. Heinel, uh, yeah, Dr. Heinel, you recently uh, worked at the Hathor Rough Rider deposit. Could you tell us how the company used the seismic in the discovery process? Well, uh, the uh, Hathor uh, 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 company, uh, its predecessor uh, was the Rough Rider. Uh, a company uh, uh, came to us uh, in uh, 2004, I guess, uh, and uh, uh, wanted to uh, use the seismic technique uh, at different uh, uh, concessions they have in the Athabasca Basin. And we carried on work for them uh, uh, um, from... Uh, that time period, uh, all up until the uh, uh, discovery of the Hutton structure. Now, the Hutton structure, uh, 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 the uh, the Hutton uh, uh, um, uh, or 
her body uh, was uh, uh, discovered uh, uh, through uh, um, not just, uh, uh, of course, uh, seismic, but other uh, uh, geophysical uh, or geological uh, 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 applications. But uh, the seismic, uh, we did a, a, a five square kilometer uh, three-dimensional seismic study there, and the uh, uh, seismic uh, uh, um, a program uh, uh, outlined uh, a number of uh, highly anomalous uh, uh, um, subsurface structures in that area, and based on that, we uh, provided a recommendation for uh, <coughs> uh, drilling uh, 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 targets, uh, and uh, 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 the total analysis of our data uh, was very successful because the uh, second hole uh, of uh, the drilling uh, uh, led to discovery. Very interesting, Dr. Heinel. Can you tell us about uh, the recent news that the University of Saskatchewan team, led by you, are, are going to uh, be engaged on the Keefe Lake property? Are there any similarities with what you've seen before uh, of any a other Ath Athabasca uranium discoveries? Well, uh, uh, the... Uh uh, uh, Key Flake uh, 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 area is, is in a sense, uh, 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 a unique uh, 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 part of the eastern Athabasca Basin. Uh, uh, the eastern Athabasca Basin is uh, 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 associated with a major uh, uh, tectonic uh, uh, a collisional event where uh, what called the Trans Hudson origin, and there were uh, two big uh, continental blocks, uh, 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 the superior from the east and uh, the Hernray province uh, 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 from the west uh, were um, uh, uh, colliding. And these collision process uh, produced uh, major uh, regional uh, 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 images, uh, structures in the Earth's crust. And uh, uh, the Cape Lake uh, is a unique part of this that it uh, clearly indicates uh, uh, the, these original structures plus it has some uh, unique features which uh, 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 indicate a, a wedge type of uh, deformation uh, uh, at part of the property. And all of these, uh, both this unique feature and the original uh, uh, Trans Hudson convergence related structures. Uh, uh, are quite recognized uh, on the seismic images, and some of the seismic images we see are really comparable to uh, uh, structures what we've seen uh, at other uh, uh, areas in the basin, let's say uh, at Makartu River or, or Shea Creek. Well, Dr. Heinel, thank you for being here with us today and giving us an introduction to the use of seismology in the Athabasca Basin. We really appreciate you coming up, coming here today. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I hope uh, you uh, had enough uh, information that uh, uh, you uh, readers can uh, enjoy uh, uh, some uh, of our research uh, on seismology. Thank you.